In this video, we're going to learn how to create a very simple animation in Adobe Photoshop using the video timeline and onion skins option. To begin, we're going to go to File, New. And once the new dialog box pops up, we're going to look for Film and Video option. And then from the blank document presets, we're going to click on HDTV 1080p. I'm going to go ahead and name this right away. We're going to create an animation called the Growing Animation. And I'll put my name in that file, file name. Click Create. All right, and there we have our blank document. The first thing I want to do when I open up my new document is I want to show the timeline option down at the bottom of the screen as well as my layers off to the right. So to do that, go to video, check mark timeline from the drop down menu, go to window again, and check mark layers. That should pop up off from the side. Uh, the very first layer that it's going to create is called this background layer. We're going to single click on that padlock that makes it into a regular layer and then we're going to click on the padlock again. All right, so that locks that layer. That is our background that's just going to be plain white. If you want to change the color of that, you can always change the color of it by unlocking it, using a paint bucket tool, dropping color. Um, I guess I'll show you that right away. So if I use the paint bucket tool, I want to have a black background, click on that. If I want to have a red background, choose red, so on and so forth. Like I said, I want to have a white background, and I'm going to lock that layer, so I'm ready to go. Now down at the bottom, this is called your timeline. You've got the frame animation option or the video timeline option. This time we're going to click Create Video Timeline, and then go ahead and click on that button that you just created. And now that shows your layers also down here. So this set shows us that layer 0 shows for five seconds. Now you can scrub to the left and right that shows the small mountains and the large mountains and that will change the view of your timeline kind of like zooming in and zooming out if that makes a difference for you. Um, we're gonna be drawing on layers above this so like I said before lock that layer and now we want to create a new layer. We don't want to just go down here and create a new layer though because this new layer is a regular layer that whatever we draw, so I draw something real quick with a paintbrush, that shows all the way through as I scrub through. So I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that. Command Z again to get rid of that layer. Remember, Command Z undoes things, so it goes backwards in time. To make a video layer, I go up to Layer from the Applications bar up top, scroll down to Video Layers, and I want to create a new blank video layer. Now, a new blank video layer will appear in your Layers palette, and it's going to have a, a small little thumbnail with what looks like a, a, a video or a film, film reel film strip um, in that thumbnail. Okay, This layer is special. It's different than this layer. This layer shows a change from one frame to the next. So over time, this layer changes. Whereas this other layer doesn't have that film strip, and it's the same all the way through. So now I go to my layer one, and I'm going to use the paintbrush tool. I'm just going to choose black as my paintbrush color. And if I want to change my paintbrush size, I go up here in the applications bar and I can change the size of it. I'm going to keep it small. Something like 8 pixels works great. You can just type in 8. And then the hardness, I'm going to keep that at 100% right now. All right. Now I'm ready to. to to start my animation. I'm just going to do something really simple and I want you to do something really simple as well. Um, I'm going to try to create a drawing that ends up being five seconds long and it continues to change 
maybe showing growth as it changes. So I'm just going to start with a little dot in the middle. And then I'm going to move to my next frame by clicking on this button here. Go to next frame. And then I'm going to make that dot a little bit bigger. And I'm going to have this dot kind of expand and explode, kind of like a firework would in the sky. So something like that. Um, the problem is, as I go from one frame to the next, it's really hard for me to figure out where my last drawing was without kind of going back. Um, so I'm going to go Command Z and just undo all of those things. I'm going to set up what's called onion skinning. Okay, onion skinning is an option when I look at my timeline. It's in the top right next to these four bars. When I click on that, I'm going to see that there's an option that says Enable Onion Skins. And that's what I'm going to click on. I'm going to Enable Onion Skins. Some of you might be familiar with using Onion Skins if you use other animation programs. But essentially what it shows you is it allows you to see what you drew before and what you drew after your frames. And you can change those settings by going Onion Skin Settings. And you can look at here. Um, if you want to see more frames, so on and so forth. So we'll deal with that later. But let's start drawing. Um, so I'm going to draw a little dot on my first frame on the video layer. So I'll make sure that layer one is selected there as well as here. And then I go to my next frame. And there you can see my little dot got grayed out. So now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Go to my next frame. Make it a little bit bigger now. Like I said, for this, just keep it, keep it simple. Be easy on yourself. You don't need to do something very complex yet until you kind of get the hang of this. And now, as it gets bigger, I'm gonna, maybe I'll start adding some other things to it. Maybe a few different waves. I'm just drawing with my mouse. This is a really good um, little project to be using a digital drawing tablet to speed up your efficiency. Okay, so on and so forth. I'm going to scrub back, and now you can see as I click. That is my animation that's growing. Okay, If I want to play it back and view it without seeing the onion skinning, I just go back here, uncheck that, and now when I view it, that's what I'll get. I can click play. You can see how fast it moves. I can change that speed um, later on. That's, that's what you get. So you kind of get the idea. You draw a little bit, move to the next frame, draw a little bit, move to the next frame. And with that onion skinning enabled, it will really speed up your animation project process. So you can play around with the colors, play around with the brush tool. If you want it to be smaller, more precise, use the pen tool, so on and so forth. But let's just say I'm all done with this. Um, I go to File, Save As. I'm going to save it as a Photoshop document first. So the name of it, Growing Animation, have your name in it. Um, go save it in the Creative Clouds folder. Make sure the format is Photoshop, and that will create a .psd file extension after your file name. Go ahead and click Save. And then when you're all done with it, you're also going to save it and export it as an MP4. You do that by going File, Export, 
render video. And depending how long your animation is, it might take a little bit longer. Um, this will pop up. Where are you trying to save it? Make sure you select that folder. Go into the Creative Cloud folder. Um, and all of this stuff, you can just keep it the same and click Render Video. And now it should save that fairly quickly in your Creative Cloud folder with the MP4 file extension. And once it is finished being compressed, then you can double click on it, open it, view it, and now that's a video file. So someone without Photoshop can view your new little animation. And that's it. So a few things to keep in mind. Remember creating a video file or a video layer. You go to layer, go to video layer, new blank video layer. That's really important. Um, from your timeline option down here, that's called the video timeline. And those are probably the most important things, as well as learning how to enable onion skins, turning it on and off. And then you can also explore and change some of the settings if you want. But you know, this should get, get you off to the next, the next step in animation. Thanks for watching.